the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Here we go. I love a good wave. What's up, guys? Come on, Ruby, Rebecca, and Molly. Let's go, teachers. And let's go to you, too. We got a big show on our hands. It's our students looking ready. You guys ready to rock and roll on this? Oh, and yeah. our teachers ready to roll. They're always ready. They're teachers from Pensacola High School in Camden County, New Jersey. And they are now in the classroom to show the tests and their favorite teacher, just not just students anymore. Look, it's the big day for the show because, just like always, the pep rally showed up and it's in the audience today. We got a good pep going here, a good pep. It's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights. I have $500 and a big old check that I want to give to one of these two teams. And we're going to start trying to find out who they're going to be with a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Okay, hope you guys are ready to play. Let's do this thing. Time starts right now. What city-state in ancient Greece was known for its military prowess as shown in the movie 300, Mr. Franchi? Sparta. Sparta is right. Extra credit question right off the top here. Freddie Mercury was a lead singer in which legendary rock band? All the way down, Mr. Chef. Oh, Queen. Queen is right. Got it under there. Chef Davis gets us there. What is the capital of the Republic of Ireland? Mr. Franchi. Dublin. Dublin, good. In August 2019, what fast food restaurant's new chicken sandwich caused such a frenzy on social media that it quickly sold out? Miss Favors. Popeyes. Popeyes is right. Students, they're up to 50 points. Let's get you guys into the game right here. What is the name for the large lower leg bone that is also referred to as the shin bone? Mr. Franchi. Tibia. Tibia is right, the shank bone. Drew Brees is the current quarterback of what NFL team? Mr. Franchi again. New Orleans Saints. That's right. What is the birthstone of May? Ruby. Emerald. Emerald is right. What sci-fi musical tells the story of a geeky florist who nurtures a speaking man-eating plant? Chef Davis. Little shop of fires. Good. What is the Spanish word for the number 14? Mr. Franchi. Quaranta. For the steal, students. Answer, Catorce. Margot Robbie starred in a 2017 movie about what competitive ice skater? Mr. Franchi. Tanya Harmon. Yeah, absolutely right. That's it for Pop Quiz. How about a Teachers 90? Students 10 came out and they're a bit stunned right now. We're off to a great start. Teachers came out ready to rock. We have the students and teachers from Pensacola High School in Pensacola, New Jersey. I cannot wait for you to meet these teachers. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm a senior. I study Latin. I like musical theater and I play lacrosse. Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm the drum major of the March Man, and I'm the president of the Environmental Club and the Student Activism Club. Hi, my name's Ruby. I'm a senior, and I play field hockey, run indoor track, and play lacrosse. Hi, I'm Dominique Favors, teacher of biological sciences at Pensalton High School, and we are going to crash the seniors just like Spirit Week last week. Hello, I'm Mr. Franchi. I am a teacher of instrumental music, and we came to have some fun and to beat the high schoolers. Hi, I'm Stuart Davis. Chef, a.k.a., and I plan to cream the opponents. We got some players here, Pensock. It's Chef Davis. I have to say, we have never had a chef on the show. You got to show everybody your pants right here. They are so cool. <laughs> what are on those puppies? Fun guy. A lot of you, because you are a fun guy. Am I right? Absolutely. Uh, I will tell you what, we got a big game on our hands. That joke was corny. Come on! How good was that one, though? We're going through the tension! Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. 
40 points is on the line. Students, we're going to need you to get this win right here. And we're going to start with this category to do it. Literature. Do you love that or do you hate it? You have a science, a band, and a chef on the left side. So if you don't love lit, do you send it over there? We're going to play. You're going to play. Here you go. Good luck. An alien race abducts the main character and puts him in a zoo in what best-selling Kurt Vonnegut novel? Just say player piano. Player piano. Incorrect. Slaughterhouse Five, the Children's Crusade, a duty dance with death was what we were looking for. Teachers, you got to send one of them to detention now. Who's it going to be? The middle. Mm -hmm. The middle. The middle. Yeah. I don't think that's you. Rebecca. We're going to send <laughs> Rebecca, our 12th grade robotic engineering, is what she wants to do next year in college. Rebecca, you stay right there. I just see you like your uh, your band director had something ready to go for you. I feel like you came in knowing you were going to detention first. All right, teachers, back to you. History, pass or play. You're in the lead. It's not mine. Hmm? Okay, let's play. 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 Who was the first U.S. president to be impeached? He wasn't impeached, he resigned. Johnson. That wasn't, it wasn't Nixon. Need an answer, guys? Johnson? Be more specific. Can anybody say it? Yeah. Andrew Johnson? That's what we were looking for. Andrew Johnson! Woo! They were sweating that one out. Got it in under the bell, Andrew Johnson. That's going to be a two-person lead. Is it Molly? Is it Ruby? Who goes to detention next? Ruby. Ruby. Ruby, <laughs> leaving our team captain, Molly, all by herself. Molly, here's what I do know. I know the category is going to be yours, and I know you can rattle off a few right answers here and still win this round. So how do you feel about the category of social media? Play. You're going to play. Here you go. The WhatsApp icon includes a white phone inside a text bubble on what color background? Green. The WhatsApp is right. Now you got to start here. The wheels are turning for Molly. All right, you got to send one of your teachers. Make it a good one. Who's it going to be? Mr. Franchi. Mr. Franchi out of there. Our band director leaving Miss Favors and Chef Davis to fight the good fight. <laughs> All right, teachers, category back to you. Movies. I said play. Play. The last key is the 2018 installment of what horror movie franchise? Exorcist. The Exorcist? That's a great guess, guys. That was good. We were looking for Insidious. Uh, and how about this? Molly, you got to send another teacher to detention. Miss Favors. Miss Favors leaving Chef Davis all by himself. We're going down. <laughs> all right, Molly, I am so happy for you. You know why? Because you got the first one right, they got the second one wrong, and now you can win it right here. Here's your category games. Play. What popular contest has people bend backwards to pass under a horizontal bar without touching it or falling as the bar gradually gets lowered each round? Oh, Limbo. Oh, Limbo is right! Molly wins it for the students! How about it? Miss Chef Davis, you're going to detention, and I'm coming to hang out! Hey, students, get it back over here! Ruby, Rebecca get released from detention. We put 40 points on the board for you guys. Get you up to 50 in the game here. And we got a lot left to play. So you guys stick around and you come back because we're showing off our creative drawing skills when we come back to the classroom. in Camden County. And look, I am i don't want to say that I'm a scientist, but I'm going to conduct an experiment for all the adults in the world here. Now, I've seen a million of you guys, uh, students, walking around with headphones on. What are you guys listening to all the time? 
I personally listen to swing music. I don't know what anybody else listens to. <laughs> you're telling me you're, every student ever listens to swing music? No. Okay, Probably. perfect. Well, that concludes our science experiment. All kids listen to swing music. Art class is next. What do you say we go? Yep, he's on board. Let's go. I knew it was swing music. Here's how the game works. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team will go first. All right, so students up here, Ruby, you're going to select a card with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. You're going to have five seconds to draw. Your teammates will have 10 seconds, 10 seconds only, to talk about it, come up with one guess. The correct answer here is 30 points. The team guesses incorrectly. I'll give you guys a few more chances, but the points will decrease as we go. So, Ruby, is it Ruby Red or... Igloo blue. I don't go. see it. It's a tough one. You stand back here for me. All right, she picked the red card. You open that up. Look at your word. As Rebecca and Molly are like, please make it easy. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. You have five seconds. Good luck. Starts right now. This is exactly what I would have done here. Here we go. Are you ready? What are we looking at, guys? Coffee. You're 10 points away. Chef Davis, get up here. Come on, you're next. We're going to give him the blue card here. As you look at your word, man, she just put a little bit of pressure on you here. You got it? Okay, that's your word. You're going to have five seconds to draw it. Here we go. Your time starts right now. He's a chef, but is he an artist? <laughs> Some call you culinary artists. That's it. Stop. <laughs> I almost had to get security up here. <laughs> All right, Chef Davis, what did we draw? Oh, chef. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him to make a chowder, though. He's going to be spot on. Need a guess, guys? A lizard. We're going to send this back. Chef Davis, grab that pen again. Uncap it and do your best. Five more seconds starts right now. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, that's already three seconds. And now stop. Ah! <laughs> He's a wild man. There you go. What are we looking at here? <laughs> you didn't add much, did you? Wow. Well, a goat? All right, not a goat. We send it into the final round. You have 10 seconds to finish your drawing. I can listen to you laugh all day. 10 seconds starts right now. Go ahead and finish that up for us here. Rebecca and Molly, don't guess it. Do you guys feel like you know it? They don't know either. That's, that's, that's not going to help us. <laughs> I'm going to flip the board anyway, just for fun. Okay, what are we looking at, guys? <laughs> oh, a caterpillar. <laughs> it's not. Do you want to tell what it is? Dragon. It's a dragon. Uh, it's a, it's a, the good news is he's going to stick to the cooking thing. There it goes. No points awarded. Students with a big round there get within 10 points of their teachers. Now, before we go to break, I'm going to give them a chance to tie it up with some extra credit. One extra credit question. Both teams will have 60 seconds during the commercial to write the answer. Correct answer is worth 10 points. Here it is. What is the term for any adult male elephant? Tough question today. Do you know animals? Do you know the answer? When we come back, I'll give it to you. Pensalkin High School is in the house today from Camden County. Now, before the break, we asked this extra credit question. What is the term for any adult male elephant? I'll be the first to tell you. I have no idea, but let's see if the students do. Molly. Tuft. Good guess. Incorrect. Teachers. Bull. A bull is right, and we all just got a little bit smarter. Teachers, you get to 100 points in the game, and you needed those points after a tough art class. Don't worry, students. You guys have been crawling back into this thing all day. I'm so proud of what you guys have done here. And I'm telling you, $500 would be a go-along way for you. Where is that going to go? Oh, so we're all in National Honor Society, and we were going to put it towards our senior projects. Nice. Uh, just, I mean, good for you guys. If you win it, it goes, goes, goes back into your education. Great place to put it. Hopefully, you guys can win that today. And teachers... 
You want to take that money for yourselves? Where would you guys put it? A comfort breakfast. Let's go. Made by Chef Davis. Am I right? That's my man. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're singing our way to art class. This game continues. We're in music class, and we're testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Fox 29 News anchor Shayna Humphreys is going to read a small portion of those lyrics. The first person to buzz in and get it correct is going to win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. A member of your side is going to, other side's going to have a chance to buzz in and steal why your side's locked out. So you just don't get any answers wrong. Here we go, guys. Let's play. Here's the question before we toss it to Shayna. Name one of the two performers whose so 2012 song includes these lyrics. Shayna Humphreys, welcome to the show. Let's see how well you do. Hey, everyone. Here's your first one. I'm going to pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. First one in, Mr. Frank G. That would be uh, Macklemore. Macklemore or Ryan Lewis, if you're accepted, gets you to 110. And our band director, of course, he knows good tunes. Right? So now we move on to question two. What female performer sings these lyrics in a 2019 collaboration? Good luck, but Shayna's got this one. And here's your next one. Went from one conversation to your lips on mine. You said I never regretted the day that I called you mine. Rebecca. Taylor Swift. Incorrect for the steal. Teachers. I got no idea. Um. We were looking for BB Rexa is the right answer. Call you mine with the chain smokers. How about that jam? All right, Shane, you did a good job today. I'm loving these two. I'm going to give you a shot with one more here. What performer co wrote and sings these lyrics in his 2017 hit song featuring a rapper and a pop star? I just got to say, Shana, good luck. All right, your final one. You ready for this? Deja que te diga cosas al oído para que te acuerdes si no estás conmigo. Despacito. Mr. Franchi. Louis Fonzi? Louis Fonzi is right! Wow! Is that Esposito? I gotta be honest, I don't know who, who's did a better job, you or Shayna. That was incredible, Shayna Humphreys. You can check her on the nightly news. I'm telling you, that was incredible. Scores, teachers, 120. Students, 80 points for you. This game needs a bow and put on top because we're going to the final exam. Here's your topic. It's Asia. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. Guys, you should write down your answers during the commercial break. I'm going to give you these questions first. Good luck. Here they are. Question one. Manila is the capital of what Southeast Asian country? That is archipelago made up of over 7,000 islands. Question two, Asia. Actor Charles Melton, whose mother immigrated from Korea, appeared in Ariana Grande's music video for which song? Asia, question three. Which Asian country is referred to as the land of the rising sun and known for its blossoming cherry trees? There are your questions. Three right answers. Going to put a team on top. These guys are neck and neck. Teachers versus students, the money is going to two great places. Who's going to walk out of here with that big check, though? I have no idea. But after this break, we're going to crown a champion right here today on The Classroom. I'll tell you what, you could be The Classroom champion tomorrow. You want your school on board? Here's how they can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today we have students and teachers from Penn Salkin High School. Here are the scores. Teachers 120, great game played. Students 80 points for you, great game as well. Here's the topic, it's Asia. You ever been there before, students? Mm -hmm. Teachers, ever been Asia? Chef Davis, I saw you do a fist pump when I said the topic. We'll see if it does help you here when we get into these questions. Each correct answer, 100 points. Let's play. Manila is the capital of what Southeast Asian countries? That is an archipelago made up of over 7,000 islands. We're going to start with our students. Ruby, you said? Indonesia. 
And that's a great guess, but incorrect. Not Indonesia. Chef Davis? The Philippines. The Philippines is what we are looking for. Students, that was a good try there. You're not out of this game yet, so let's keep going. Actor Charles Melton, whose mother immigrated from Korea, appeared in Ariana Grande's music video for which song? Now, you've never had to be to Asia just to know a good jam. Mr. Franchi, you've been pretty hot on all the music tracks today. You're the band director at your school. Let's see how well you do here. If you get this right, the game's out of reach. Uh, I guess. Thank you, Nat. <laughs> Incorrect. That was a good guess, Well. Couldn't get it done. Now, Rebecca, come on. Get it right to stay in the game. Problem. Incorrect. Break up with your girlfriend on board was the right answer. With that answer, that means you cannot come back. Teachers, $500 is going home with you. And the big winners on the classroom. Come on out here and get that money. Hey, which Asian country is referred to as the land of the rising sun? The students knew it. They got blossoming cherry trees. It was Japan. Hope you guys had a good time in the classroom. We'll see you next time.